Hi and welcome to my playhouse and I've been playing around with this Lenovo X3850 for quite a bit now. Um, I had some problems with the EX storage stims in this server and I, I haven't solved it but uh, I had a lot of good suggestions in the comments of the video. Uh, On that regard and I've tried some of it and um, yeah I just wanted to show you a bit of an update on what I tried and well some of it helped just a little bit but uh, I would say that I haven't got it yet but let's go into the computer and see what I got and uh, yeah I have a selfie stick now <laughs> this is oh cool okay it's not strong enough so when I tilt it, it will turn a little bit around. Okay, computer. I have run this test four times. I run the test with the two solid state drives that uh, I also did in the last video. I did that again. I did the, the, the four memory dims in a thin provisioning and that's the result of that. And then I did the four memory dims in a thick provisioning and that's those. And you might see that the numbers are a bit better. 300, 355, the, the right is about the same. Actually, it, it went down a little bit, went up a little bit, went up a little bit, went down a little bit. This number went up a little bit, this went up a little bit, this went up a little bit, and this went up a little bit. It's, it's a little bit better to use thick provisioning than thin provisioning is what I can see of those two. Then I did one disc I, I took one of the discs, one of the four drives, and I separated it into single drives, and I mounted one of those single drives, and that is this one. And I did that as a thick provisioning. Mm, it's very compatible with this one. This is four drives in kind of a, just a bunch of discs, and this is just one of those drives. And you might see that some of the numbers are quite a bit higher. This one, it, it's a tiny bit higher, but this one, is a lot higher. The right to it is uh, quite a bit higher, um, but the rest of it is more or less, it's a little bit better, except this one. Nothing comes up to beating this one over here. The two solid state disks in the normal base are still beating everything out of those memory dims. And, well, so the mystery is not solved, but I tried something more, I didn't succeed, I didn't get out of it what I wanted, but I didn't find the solution, but I tried some things. So some of the things that had been suggested to me in the comments, I tried those. Uh, there was a suggestion on trying to reinstall the entire server and put Hyper-V on it. I got too lazy, I didn't want to do that. And plus, I'm not a Hyper-V man, I, am, I like VMware. <laughs> Thank you for watching my channel, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.